hi guys welcome back to honey hans kitchen i hope you're doing well hey it's been a very long time trust me guys i've been very busy forgive me if i haven't been posting like i used to but i'm back again once again i want to thank you all for watching this video and please if you haven't subscribed yet kindly go ahead and subscribe so today i want to share with you my recipe for a red fish stew look at this stew this is very very delicious trust me guys i want to share my secret with you so please let's just go ahead so i have my red so i have my red fish here i want to spice it with um, just a shrimp tablet um, a shrimp tablet so that's what i'm doing so it depends on the quantity of your red fish um, you should try and then minimize this it's just to give it a taste so this is if you check from the video this is what i'm trying to i'm just trying to marinate the fish well so that it, it has taste and um, just the shrimp cube is enough trust me the shrimp cube is enough so i'll do this and then set it aside for about some minutes about 15 minutes and then we'll go ahead and fry so now i have my saucepan i'm just pouring my oil into the saucepan and then we'll let it be hot and then we can go ahead and fry i'll be using the oil for my stew as well so please check the quantity of the oil if you have to use it for your stew so here the oil is hot so the only thing i'm doing is just putting the um fish into the oil to fry i'm using an unstick um, pan so it's easier to fry but then if you want to dab the fish into flour so that it doesn't stick to your pan you can go ahead and do that but then it's easier like for me like this so at this point i'm just turning the fish to make sure that the, all the sides are well fried basically After some time I checked and then it was totally fried so I'll just take it out of the oil and set this aside this red fish stew guys is so delicious and um, I've always prepared red fish stew for some of my friends but then anytime I prepare they will ask me how do you do it so this is for you guys as well I want you to see how I do it and I want you to try it it is very very delicious so the next thing we'll do is to just prep our vegetables for the stew so i have my garlic my onion my tomatoes and then my pepper so this is what i'm doing i'm just um, blending them i did not add water to the tomatoes i just smashed the tomatoes at the bottom of the blender and then i cut the onions and the garlic pepper on it it's easier to blend so you don't have to add water i always look for a certain consistency when i'm preparing stew i don't want my blended ingredients to be very very smooth so if you check here it looks like it, it, it's it's um, it's not too smooth and that's exactly how I want it that's exactly how I want it so I will check the consistency for you guys to see so you see it is not smooth at all and this is one of the tricks that will make your stew very delicious if you blend it and it's too smooth sometimes it doesn't you know it, I mean it doesn't help so this is another trick the fish that we fried I just put about two pieces aside what I do is I, I cook this with salt and then keep it away so I'll flake it and keep the stock and this 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 guys you should try it and come and thank me later so now back to the stew I'll put my onions just fry it so we'll fry it for some time when it's about you know turning brown but not too brown when it's about yeah you just check it and then you add your tomato paste to it so that's what i'm doing at the moment i'm adding my tomato paste i will stir it for it to mix very well so as you can see guys this has been on fire for about five minutes and i keep stirring because i do not want it to get burnt So now it's time for me to add my blended vegetables to it so you can see i'll take my time to stir it again to make sure it mixes very well with the um, tomato paste and this guys this is just the stew but trust me the flavors 
combined here is very delicious the next thing i will have to do is to add my tablet uh, my shrimp tablet so now that's exactly what i'm doing depending on the quantity of the stew guys that's what will determine the the amount of spice you put into your stew so here is an, uh, another spice that's rosemary people have the powder but then this is fine with me so i just put in another spice this is from miss cookie spices this is not an ad but then i use it all the time for my stew so i just wanted to share with you guys so now i'll just go ahead and stir it and let it be on fire for some time and then i'll take you through the final bit of it this should not take you more than 35 to 40 minutes yes guys so now i'm adding my fish flakes this is homemade and trust me with the stock is very very delicious this is what is this is what will give your stew the real red fish taste because once you add this to the stew and you allow it to boil gently or to cook gently you will really feel the taste of fish but not um you'll feel the taste of fish in your stew so i just added my curry powder to it after it had been on fire for about 10 to 15 minutes i'll stir it again for just some few minutes and i will add my fish back into the stew so if you see i have some um, onions cut with some green bell pepper so i'm just adding it to the stew gently stir and be turning the fish so that it doesn't break basically that's what i'm doing at the moment so that's you just stir it let it be on fire for just some about five minutes so that it will also absorb the deliciousness of the fish the stew will be able to combine very well and then you are done this is it guys isn't it simple this is something everyone can do so please check this channel out subscribe to this channel and then keep coming back for more thank you very much for watching bye, -bye.